So on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to uh, polish your crank out kind of the old-fashioned way. It's using a metal polish and a shoestring. Now on heavy pitted cranks and stuff, some people will use sandpaper. That is an option, but on this crank, it does not need touched with any sandpaper at all. This came out of a line of motor. As you can see, it's just a little discolored from the oil. It really ain't no places you can... Uh, catch your fingernail on so there ain't no reason to bring out the whole 1000 grit 1500 grit, you know 2500 grit step up on sandpaper and emery craft type polishing Today is just a simple get ready to install new balance polish So side note if you can take your crank to a machine shop Usually it's around $40 in my not my area, but usually around 40 to $60 to have a crank polished depending on where you are in the shop Well, I'm in a small town The nearest one is around two hours away. So Two hours plus the shop fee plus gas then going back and picking it up uh, And they extremely booked right now due to uh, What's going on in the world today? So it's kind of an appointment and you don't know when you're gonna get your crank back I like to assemble this the next day so what I picked up is some Nevador, and it comes in a can just like this. It's Eagle One, and we're just going to take some out, just pinch it off. You can use scissors to cut this, get you a kind of a wet piece. There's going to be tons of it. And uh, with Nevador, it comes in this. Now, some people might think we're just going to take this and spin this around. No, we are not. So you don't want the Nevador fabric getting inside your journals here. I mean, we are going to be spraying it out before we install this motor. But generally, let's make sure we clean the metal and debris so we don't get any in a new balance. But uh, just don't. You know, it saves you trouble having to worry about it. So just gently wipe the nail of the door on the pretty well uh, journal. Just like so, all the way around. Because some people might think of just putting a shoestring on this and spinning it. I mean, you could, technically. We'll put the Nevador on it. Take your shoestring. Now, you can use a metal polish. They are metal polishes that a lot of people use this for this itself. But Nevador's worked for me in the past. And that's the one I'm going to keep using. So, I'm just going to go ahead and wrap a shoestring a couple times around this. And then go to town. And you should be able to watch it on camera start shining up and you might have to do this two three four times especially with the nevador but let's just go ahead and loosen this up take some more nevador put it on there and once the shoestring gets saturated with this nevador it will be doing a whole lot better but right now let's just do that And as you can see, this journal is polishing absolutely amazing. Let's take a some more Nevador to it. Just wipe it down good. As I said before, your shoelace is doing all the work. You just want to put the material, the, the Nevador that's soaked into this little cloth on this journal. Now we're going to work it back at your forge. Just like so. So this makes about three applications I've done so far. You can tell a big difference from this journal that we just done to all these journals. It's extremely got a mirror finish to it, if you can tell. So what I'm going to do is just take a paper towel, clean it off. You can use a microfiber also, but 
you may have to use bite cream. Therefore, use bite cream to spray inside your journals out and spray us off and clean it extremely good before putting it on your new bearings because metal polish can sometimes leave a coating on this and you want to get that off so bright cream works pretty good for that but I'm going to do probably one more application of this and uh, call this journal good and we're going to do the rest of them and I'll show you how it turned out once we're done but you get pretty much of what I'm doing so stay tuned and I'll see you in just a moment so it's the finished product it took about an hour to do all this give or take and uh, the journals is extremely polished out and we might not look it in the camera but if you look real close you can see I still got never door on them uh, I left some never door after I got them all polished up I just took a lightly rub some on it to keep it from flash rusting because I am not going to be storing this crank so I will not be putting grease on these journals or wrapping the crank up it just needs a set a day or two till I get ready to install it now when I go to install it if you do this yourself be sure to clean your oil galleries out with brake cleaner brush them out and uh, clean all this residue off your journals you want to make sure it's extremely clean now if you got journals that's pretty well scarred up super bad if you can see these is fine you can't catch your fingernail on them I just show them a little mileage but uh all in all this is a great way to just get ready to throw new bounds onto a crank if you uh want to know if this actually works uh be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already i will be putting this into my personal 6.0 ls engine now on a side note this is not the first crank i've done like this i know it's personally going to work out for me but always do your research and uh if you ain't comfortable with doing stuff like this be sure to take it to the machine shop now if you do use sandpaper and go down the steps you know thousand grit 1500 and so on to a polish or emery cloth do note that doing it that way will you know widen your belt clearances pretty much now the never door it pretty well will not take off enough material to even matter on your bearing clearances they should still be exactly the same but if you got a bad crank with a lot of bad spots sometimes you have to do and a lot of pitting you have to just do the emery cloth steps but if you got a good crank can have of a running motor and it just needs a shine never door works out pretty good as always guys thank you for watching hopefully you found this video helpful if you did Drop a like, leave a comment, let me know what you're working on. I enjoy hearing from everyone. I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for watching.